economy may be under siege, but Vladimir Putin has not lost his swagger. For three hours and ten minutes he held courts, and the markets were watching closely. He told the country and the world it would take two years for the economy to recover because the price of oil will bounce back. One thing we can be absolutely confident about is that we will overcome this period and we will emerge from this current complicated situation having straightened our positions both inside the country and in the global economy. But a one-dimensional economy fueled by oil and gas is a big problem for Vladimir Putin. He promised to diversify when he came to power and on that pledge he's failed. Russia's coffers rise and fall with the global energy markets. 68% of the country's total export revenues in 2013 came from oil and natural gas sales. So this year's 40% drop in the price of Brent crude to around $60 a barrel has hit them hard. Russia now needs prices to rise back up to at least $100 to balance the books. If they had followed their promises of modernization and shifting uh, away from the energy dependence, yes, indeed, the Russian economy would have been much more flexible. It would have not been subjected to volatilities and on uh, that we, we've seen on crude um, oil market in recent months. But the bloodshed in Ukraine has triggered further economic pain for Russia. The West's response to the bombs and bullets of Putin's foreign adventurism has been financial sanctions. Along with falling oil prices, it is a perfect economic storm that's now sweeping through the country, with Russians watching as the ruble goes into freefall. Vladimir Putin, though, says the West's to blame for the hardship. Maybe our bear should just relax and sit quietly and just eat honey instead of hunting animals. Maybe then they will leave the bear in peace. But no, they will not. What they're trying to do is chain the bear. And when they manage to chain the bear, they will rip out both teeth and claws. The threat, though, may be closer to home. As Russia's 21st century Tsar spoke, there were scuffles outside. The protesters were only small in number and were easily dragged away by the police. But with a growing economic crisis, there's also political uncertainty ahead and perhaps even a challenge to his authority. Alex Rossi, Sky News.